We're here with Swanee head volleyball coach Sean Lorndean as the Tigers open up their season tomorrow night at home against Covenant at 6 o'clock. Um, Sean, welcome. Um, you've gone through camp the last couple of weeks. Um, talk a little bit about how preseason, preseason has gone. Preseason has gone very well. We were able to progress a lot faster this year than we have in the previous years. Um, the girls came in. We do a preseason run, a testing run, to see if mm -hmm. they worked out all season. And 15 out of 16 made their time. So we were very pleased starting into, you know, going into our first practice. Uh, the girls were very excited as well. They held each other accountable. Um, you know, that, that brought more focus and energy, I think, into our first few practices. Mm -hmm. um, we've had a few injuries during preseason. We'll be missing two starters tomorrow night, but um, working through those injuries and trying to get them healthy. And, but I've been very pleased with our preseason thus far. You finished 8-19 last year. We do have a number of players coming back, though. Um, talk a little bit about the returners. We do have five returners re uh, coming back. Um, Sarah Jane Sutton was our libero last year. Mm. She, unfortunately, she is one of those that is injured, um, but she will be back hopefully this weekend. Um, mm -hmm. She was the defensive player of the year in the conference, so we're excited to have her back on the roster. She's worked extremely hard. Um, Diamond Stewart was also honorable mention last year. She was all conference the past two years. Um, she's a just a spark plug on the outside for us. Very spunky player. Mm -hmm. um, plays much, how do you say it, like she is 5'7", but she plays... She really plays a lot really, taller, a yes, lot bigger. Yeah. definitely. Um, Casey Hassett, 6'2", middle, returning from last mm -hmm. year. We're excited about her. Maggie Stanford, she is moving to the outside. She's played middle for us the past few years. We are moving her to the outside, which will be a bonus. She's 6'1". Um, so we're excited about move, making that move mm -hmm. um, and replacing Jamie Sue Wilson, who was all conference for us, that graduated last year. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's the highlight of the returners. We also are adding um, Caroline Montgomery back to our roster. She mm -hmm. is a 6'3 middle that has returned from studying abroad, and we are extremely excited about her. The, her freshman and sophomore year, she led the conference in blocking, so mm -hmm. hopefully she will do some great things for us in the middle. Um, what about the newcomers? Um, how, are, how have they adopt, uh, adapted, excuse me, and um, what do you expect from them this year? Yeah, we have two freshmen that came in. Um, Audrey <clears throat> Garrett is from Georgia and Peyton Parent. Mm -hmm. um, Audrey is working hard every day to progress. She's playing behind a couple couple returners that are big, shoot, you know, they're pretty big players, and, mm -hmm. and she's working hard to improve. Peyton Parent, a libero from Florida, um, she has made an immediate impact on our defense, our serve receive. She is actually starting tomorrow evening as our libero, taking SJ spots, and she'll be out. But she will see a lot of playing time this year, so we're extremely excited about her. Other returners that um, saw limited playing time last, last year, Caroline Owens, mm -hmm. she's an opposite. She will be starting for us tomorrow night. Emma McNamara from Austin, Texas, she is an outside. Um, we should see a lot of playing time with her this season. Uh, Elizabeth Gill is a middle. You know, our, our two starting middles are 6'2 and 6'3. Liz is probably 5'11. Five, five um, so a little smaller block. Uh, so she's got big shoes to compete against. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, she'll see some playing time this year. And Christy Gray is a libero defensive specialist. That will see a lot of playing time this, this year as well. Um. You uh, you play a lot of matches early in this season. Um, of course, we have a non-conference match tomorrow night. Then you go into a tournament this opening weekend, and then you come back home and you've got another tournament. Um, and then moving forward, we get into conference play. Uh, typically, our conference is pretty good. Um, definitely raised the bar the last couple of years. Talk a little bit just about your schedule. You know, we try to set these two tournaments early. Uh, just to work through rotations, just mm -hmm. to kind of work out the kinks and to see, you know, what is the best lineup for our program. So hopefully we'll be able to mm -hmm. establish that, if not after this first weekend, once we finalize our tournament. Um, you know, and I don't know what to expect at, at Huntington. There's some good, a couple good teams that will be there, so we should have some good competition, mm -hmm. um, which will be great for us opening up tomorrow night against Covenant. They're always a strong team, so... Mm -hmm. um, our expectations are high this year. The girls want to want to do well. They've worked hard. They feel like this is 
this is a year that they can be successful. Five mm -hmm. seniors, hopefully we can, you know, we're all on the right track. We just got to stay healthy and keep working hard. You were kind of mentioning right then about the expectations. Uh, what are maybe the team goals this year? Are, are there certain things that the team has discussed and just like set things that you want to achieve, or is it just getting better each match? Or, or talk a little bit about, you know, at the end of the year, if you and I sat down and, and talked about a successful season, what would that look like? Well, you know, going into the competition, <clears throat> we would like to be in the top four. I mean, realistically, I'd say we'd love to win it, but mm -hmm. not realistically, but, you know, I would love to say we, we could win the tournament. But right now we're just trying to take baby steps to get better each time we step out on the court. Um, that's not to say that we can't win it, mm -hmm. um, because if the girls keep playing, working hard and progressing, we may have a shot at hosting that tournament. You never know. Um, but the girls will sit down tonight. We're going to discuss okay. our team goals this evening. Um, and, you know, we could let you know more then. But our goal, my goal and Steve's goal is to be in the top four going into the tournament. Sounds good. Well, thank you, Shauna. Again, the Tigers open up their 2015 season tomorrow night at 6 o'clock in Juhon Gymnasium. Thanks. Thank you.